It's no different to me, you know. I mean, like, I don't ever get to rest. I don't, you know, my day, my, like, work week is seven days a week. I was just thinking about that the other day, because, um, I actually, I had to abandon this idea because I got, I, I contacted a bunch of people and I had to write them back and say to disregard my email because I got too much information from it. So it's okay for me to go ahead and reveal my idea that I had because it's, it's, I'm not going to do it. So it's, a, I mean, it's okay if a bunch of trolls like, you know, try to, but I'm not encouraging them, to, but I mean, you know, um, but I mean, I thought about maybe getting a co-working space because I found places that would be like, um, like uh, about four dollars a day and then that would give me a place to to um, be able to go and spend my time during the day without having to worry about bothering anyone the only catch was like finding a place that um, finding a place that where I could talk all day and not bother anyone because most of those places are it's like you shared you share like a big long desk with other people like you're you're elbow to elbow with people so i was just waiting back to hear from these people like you know for a for a membership that works out to only four dollars a day is there some is there one of these places that would let me have a space that's a little more private so that i wouldn't be bothering people by talking all day because most people who are in those spaces are just going to be working on computers and then if they have to take a call, there's like usually a, like a private phone booth that they can step into for however long they need. But I mean, 
you know, I mean, it's like, I, I don't think that they're usually, I don't think that the people there are usually, like, spending all day long on the phone, you know what I mean? So, but it's not gonna, I, I can't do it anyway, because I got too much inflammation from uh, writing to these places to ask questions, so I had to, I had to write every single one of them back and say, just disregard my last email, but, um, but what, what made me realize that I am working seven days a week is that when I was, you know, these places, they usually have like a part-time membership, which is cheaper, and then a full-time membership, which is more money, and it's, it's like, you know, part-time membership is best for people who are working like 25 hours a week or less, and I was thinking about, okay, I added it up, like, how many hours a week am I actually working, and I, what I realized is, it's definitely full time and it's seven days a week. It made me realize like, and then when I was sending emails to these places, I was like, that sounds pretty overboard to, to be like, hey, I'm, I'm interested in the full time membership. You know, I'm looking for a space where I can talk for hours every day, seven days a week. And then I was like, that kind of sounds like, I'm, I'm afraid these people are gonna like, think that I'm kind of like, like a pathological workaholic. I'm afraid these people are going to turn me down just because they think that I'm, like, working myself to death. But, and then, so then, in parentheses, behind that, I'd usually say something like, after I'd say that I'm working seven days a week, I'd usually put something like, you know, I'm just, I'm getting a business off the ground right now. So I feel like, I feel like people maybe would understand that's why I'm having, like, put so much time into it. But really, it's just because, like, I just don't have a place to, I don't, I don't have a place. I mean, yeah, since I don't have a place to just ever relax I don't like I don't have a place to just you know I don't have a place to just like sleep in on the weekends or because the place where I'm sleeping they wake everybody up at 5 30 seven days a week you know you, and you can't there there's not a single day out of the week that you can just stay there during the day so it's like I really am forced into working this much which is fine I mean I think that's normal for somebody who's trying to get a business off the ground but you know, for me, it's like, it's not really like an internal, like, drive that's making me do this. It's more just like, my cir my outer circumstances are forcing me to work seven days a week. But it's like, I don't, it really brought it home to me that like, I don't get, I don't ever get a day off when I'm living like this. You know, there's just, there's nothing I can do about it right now. It's all just a matter of timing. I just have to wait until something, until I have some kind of breakthrough and I can get like a, like a more permanent, you know, a, pl a place where I can actually, like, store my stuff during the day, or a place where, like, I can just hang, you know, like, where I can have, like, a real weekend to just kind of, like, you know, stay at home and stuff. Yeah, I did tell them the nature of my business. I don't think you're a very good listener, so I'm going to go ahead and block you. Um, hi. I don't like it when people, like, really clearly demonstrate that they're not listening. You know what I mean? It's like, they just want to inject them. They just want to, like, project their whole life onto what I'm saying. I don't like that stuff. I mean, I can't, It, you know, um, like, I mean, I, ha I did tell them that why, I mean, like, I think that person who, who just said that was really, like, not very smart. Or very good at social skills. So. Or that person is really underestimating my intelligence. And my life experience. I mean, what do you expect from somebody who has a... Who, who, whose name is that? And look at their profile picture. What else would you expect? from somebody whose life revolves around that. You know, like, when I, when I told you what I was just telling you, I wasn't saying that to try to get suggestions. I wasn't saying it like, oh, can you help me with that? I mean, the whole thing is already done. It's over. It's settled. And that person has really, really poor listening skills. They don't, they didn't even understand. They didn't even get that the whole thing is already in the past and it's over. It's already done.
mean, also, I couldn't have done a co-working space because, um, you know, later after I, after I sent the people emails asking more about the membership, I realized that um, it would pretty much double my transportation costs because it would be an extra destination each day. I would still have to go somewhere to buy food for myself. So that's an extra stop, and since I have to do every, since I have to get rides everywhere, you know, I have to pay somebody to drive me. That's not that wouldn't work. It would end. Up, it would end up being more than just four dollars a day for the actual space. It would be, it would be doubling my transportation cost too, which and that's something that I can't afford right now. So now I'm just stuck doing what I've been doing so far. I was one of these places, the one that had actually like, I feel like the most reasonable price for the, all the benefits you get. Um, and I saw on their website, they, when you go to try to apply for the membership, it's not, they don't just give it to anybody who shows up with the money. They, they actually say on their website that they're really picky about who they give a membership to. So. That's your I usually don't get into places like that. The only, I mean, the only time that ever really happened to me was when with the college, the school that I went to for college, you know, is a place that's really picky. But that's that's different though because that's not based on social stuff. That's based on merit, you know, like how good your work is because it's a school. They're looking at your grades, stuff that's objectively measurable although if you're going to art school you know a portfolio portfolio that's in no way objective whatsoever right? how, how skilled somebody thinks you are but I mean so I guess don't even count that but like it seems like whenever it comes down to like social stuff like are you cool enough to be a member at our co-working space I'm not the kind of person who's probably ever gonna win one of those memberships even if I have even if I show up with all the money that I need so I, it probably wasn't realistic like to begin with you know, the one that I was really hoping to get into, but I mean, like, since it would have doubled my transportation cost, I, the whole thing wasn't realistic anyway. down to like stuff like either social like how cool are you socially or like since this was a co-working space it probably also would have come down to like how cool do we think the work you're doing is also probably kind of like how you dress and stuff because I noticed the place is really like it's really designy looking inside like it was obviously like all done by a professional you know and that's all stuff where it's like I'm just like if you think spirituality is cool then I guess you'd think I'm like the coolest because I'm a full-time mystic but if it comes down if you're looking for somebody who dresses like a hipster I'm gonna be I'm gonna get an F I'm gonna be at the very bottom of your list <laughs> or like if you're looking for somebody who's like socially cool or doing some kind of work that I bet like I don't know I just I just defect on you psychologically it's good for you but just, the bar is so high
people could think that I'm really cool. I don't know. But it's just kind of like, I don't know. Based on my past experiences, I kind of doubt it. Thanks. Plus, I mean, another obstacle for that sort of thing is that most people don't even have any idea of, like, like, the kind of stuff that I do, you know what I mean? Most people don't even know what it is. Most people have never even heard the word mystic before. So, I mean, that, you know... I guess I just, like, I have to do everything myself, you know? Like, I have to completely do everything from scratch. I can't just, like... Like, I, I think... I think the reason I wasn't able to do this, like, the reason I had to call off those emails is because, like, it would be too easy for me to just, like, you know, get a space. Yeah, I feel like that would sort of be the easy way out. Like, that would make my life a little too comfortable right now, and I'm in a four-year, so it's all about hardship. It's like, I have to... I'm just kind of, like... I have to do everything the hard way so that I can be as independent as possible. Okay. If I wanted to get just a private office somewhere, I'd have to get an actual lease, and the rent would be more like like what I would pay to actually have a room to be able to live somewhere. And if I'm going to pay that kind of money, I'd rather just have a room to be able to live somewhere, you know? The whole reason I was thinking about co-working is because it would be... These places, their memberships are anywhere from like $89 a month to about like 150 a month. So if you pick one that's in between, it's about it comes out to about four dollars a day, which is like like many times cheaper than like the cheapest apartment share. So what I was I mean again, it's this is off the tape. Get the co-working space and then just keep going to. Um, the place where I've been going to sleep, you know, on the floor, and, and then just keep, and then do that until I started making enough money to, I don't know, do something else, but I don't, it's not gonna work out, selling a dress, so you can get mail to the place where you share that office space. And some of them also give you a little locker, too. I mean, that would have really come in handy, because, like, you know, if I had a mailing address, I could, I could, like, order my supplements online, like, all my dietary and hygiene stuff, like, my, my special obscure stuff that I have to use. I mean, I saw a picture at one of these places. They're really, really tiny lockers, but, I mean, it would have been better than nothing. It would, like, you know, I could have, um stored some stuff there that like you know go there every day i'd be going there seven days a week and then, like you know just i'd be able to keep a little bit of stuff in there it would make things a little bit easier for me i mean it wouldn't it wouldn't really that much of my burden they have like uh they have like a little kitchen too you know what i mean like i could have taken food there with me like i what i could have done is like gone to a grocery every morning, bought all my food for the day, taken it to the co-working space, put put my frozen stuff in the freezer, and then when I leave at the end of the day, 
take that, take whatever's left with frozen all day. And they also have like, you know, they have like, I don't, I wouldn't eat this stuff. They have like coffee and snacks and stuff. And also like, um, they have like printing equipment, you know, like print, copy, scan, fax. You have access to all that kind of stuff. Some of them also give you your own business phone number. So it just, you know, it helps you to look more legitimate. Well, I mean, I mean, you're obviously not listening because I already told you that it was already like, you know, I've already ruled it out as an option. And I couldn't discuss it while I was thinking about it because then the trolls on here, they'd go, they'd look up every single place in town that does co-working and they would call and, and tell a bunch of lies and rumors about me to make me look bad so that I wouldn't be able to get a membership. So that's why I couldn't discuss this yesterday. But now that I'm definitely not going to do it, it's okay for me to talk about it. I don't know. They can be really choosy about who they pick. I'm not in a, I'm not in a really big city. You know, it's not just like anybody who shows up with the money is gonna get a membership. So, you know, I mean, it's kind of like, kind of like getting. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure that everything you've heard is probably really negative. But I mean, you've got to remember that the people who are saying that stuff, all they do is make up lies. So just so you know, if you come into the chat and you make suggestions some healing you can just send a payment just anything that's at least one dollar most people have usually sent me between five and twenty dollars for it if you want to send more that's fine too it's just whatever you think is appropriate you're the only one who knows what you can afford and I'm just a gatekeeper for the spirit world so when you pay it just starts automatically there's no there's no session or reading or anything like that. It's purely energetic. How much longer before I go home? I don't have a home. You're talking about... I'm not a psychologist, okay? Are you talking about physical, mental? I don't know what you're talking about. And the people your car, then they do it.
people know I'm not acknowledging anymore. I don't want to acknowledge anymore whenever somebody sends me a payment because uh, it gives away too much information to the trolls. So I'm just going to like keep it a secret from now on whenever somebody sends me money. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying verbally. I don't... You know what I mean? I'm not going to say anything verbally on here. Whenever I... I'm not going to verbally acknowledge whether or not I've gotten a payment because it gives away too much info. If somebody asks me, if somebody who sent me money comes on here and asks me if I got it, then yeah, I'll acknowledge. But I'm not just going to announce it anymore. But I mean, I guess it would be better if people don't, if people don't, you know, come on here and ask me whether or not I got something. something else on my phone for a second. 